Now there are six types of showdown players, and also there are six types of best strategies to use when you're playing showdown. For today's video, we're gonna cover what those strategies are and the best brawlers to play those strategies with. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Let's start off with the first type of showdown player and that is the survivalist. Survival strategists will do anything to stay away from enemy brawlers. They make it their goal to avoid any type of conflict at all costs by hiding in bushes, running away from enemy brawlers rather than chasing them, and then moving away from parts of the map that have a high concentration of players on it. This strategy can work well for any brawler in the game if you become a master of it and uh, it's not actually too hard to master, though sometimes it can be kind of boring. But the best ones for the survival strategy are going to be brawlers that take a little bit of time for them to actually take out boxes on their own, may struggle out in the open against other brawlers, or may have a difficult time actually taking out enemy brawlers by themselves. The brawlers that best benefit from using this strategy are Nita, Jesse, Bo, Barley, Poco, Penny, Piper, and Terra. Now typically the best time for you to use a survival strategy is if you have a poor spawn location with very few boxes near you, or if they're just generally a few amount of boxes on the map. Even if you do get a good spawn location though, the survival strategy can be an excellent choice if you are willing to sacrifice that chance for that number one position for consistency in actually trophy pushing. The best way to counter a survival strategist is to always check the bushes and try to push them around the map a little bit. By pushing them around, eventually if they keep on falling away from you, then they will get caught between you and another enemy brawler, which will definitely cause certain doom for them. <laughs> Next we have the second type of showdown player, the Arnold strategist. Hey you, I've come for your power cubes. Arnold strategists try to win by going for as many power cubes as they possibly can so that they can just straight up outpower their opponents. They do this by going wherever there are the most boxes on the map, usually the center, and by risking their own survival for a chance to take out anyone else for their power-ups. In my opinion, this is the most fun way to play a showdown, but it can also lead to the biggest trophy losses. The best brawlers to use this strategy are ones that can take out boxes quickly, as well as deal with enemy brawlers. Now this can depend a little bit on your brawler's level, but at max level, the best Arnold strategy brawlers are Shelly, Colt, Bull, Brock, Dynamite, El Primo, Ricochet, Daryl, Pam, Frank, Spike, and Leon. Typically the best time for you to use the Arnold strategy is if you spawn close to a lot of boxes or if there are a lot of boxes on the map. Taking into consideration what brawler you're playing is also very important when it comes to this Arnold strategy. If you don't have a way of dealing with close up brawlers that are all firing and targeting you in the center of the map, then it might not be the best strategy for you to use. The best way to counter an Arnold strategist is obviously to take them out before they get too many power ups, or if they happen to get caught up in between you and some other brawlers to make sure you always focus your fire on them. Because they'll be your biggest opposition when it comes to actually getting that number one spot as opposed to the other brawlers that are helping you take him out. Next we have the <laughs> Vulture strategy. That's right, Crow. I'm looking at you. Now, vultures either hide in the bushes themselves or they roam around the map looking for opportunities for them to take other people's power cubes or other people's kills. They may do this from a distance as they keep players pushed back with a controlling attack, or they may just swoop in at the very last moment to pick up a power cube and then run away. The best brawlers to vulture with are brawlers that offer a lot of control that allows them to keep people pushed back from a distance, or brawlers that have some sort of ability that allows them to swoop in, grab stuff, and swoop back out. The best brawlers to use the vulture strategy are Dynamite, Bo, Barley, Daryl, Pam, Mortis, Terra, Crow, and Spike. The best time to be a Vulture is if you know that you can push the enemy brawler back without dying yourself. And typically, this requires a good bit of patience and a good understanding of the 1v1 interactions with every brawler in the game. The best way to counter a Vulture is to make sure that you have enough ammo to deal with them. Rather than spamming your shots on a box or spamming your shots to try and take out a brawler, you should just fire off one ammo slot at a box at a time or a brawler at a time, and then make sure you have those two other in reserve so that you can push the Vulture back and prevent them from stealing your kill or power cubes. Now it's time for the third type of showdown player, True Teamers. True Teamers will try to win by spinning when they find an enemy brawler, and if the enemy brawler spins back, True Teamers will form a temporary truce to try and take out everyone else before turning their backs on each other. Okay, now before I go on, I think it's important that I make sure it's very clear that I'm not condoning people to start teaming in Showdown, and I'm definitely not saying that anyone is a bad person for teaming in Showdown. This video is about outlining the best strategies in Showdown, and teaming just happens to be one of them. Even the Brawl Stars developer team is kind of split on whether or not they should allow teaming to be in the game, and their current stance is that they're okay with it being an option as long as it is not the only option to winning. I disagree with that. 
but uh, I'll table my thoughts on that for another video. True teamers will never attack each other and do their best to take out anyone else before they actually turn on each other. They'll also share power-ups with each other, and an advanced strategy for true teamers is to actually charge up your supers on each other so that you can then go and dominate everybody else. The best brawlers to team with are ones that have low backstab potential due to having a defensive super or just low burst damage. This includes Nita, Jesse, Dynamite, Bo, Barley, Poco, Penny, Piper and Pam. The best time to team is when you see an enemy teamer that is spinning that also is playing a brawler that I listed just now. If they're not, they might just be backstabbing you. And if you are not playing a brawler that is good with teaming, you may actually not want to team with them because they might attack you thinking that they're worried about you backstabbing them. Now, the reason why this is the best time to team is because if you do not team with them, they're likely going to keep spinning until they find somebody else to team with. And then they'll just come after you and take you out. The best way to counter a teamer is not not to just ignore them and let them go on their merry way even if you don't team with them. It is to follow one of the last two of the best strategies to use in Showdown. And one of those strategies is to be a backstabber. Backstabbers will team with anyone that will team with them. And they may even pretend to be a true teamer themselves. But at the first opportunity that they find, backstabbers will take the person out that they teamed with and take their power-ups. They may wait until they have their super charged up so that they can quickly take them out with it. They may wait until you get too close to them so that they can quickly throw out three fast auto attacks and blast you to bits, or they may wait until the enemy gets you low enough so that they know that they can guarantee a kill without the risk of you actually reacting and taking you out. The best brawlers to backstab with are brawlers that have really high burst damage or a super that can be really difficult to escape from. This includes Shelly, Bull, Brock, El Primo, Frank, Mortis, Terra, Spike, and Leon. Whether you decide to team in the first place or backstab comes down to your own personal playstyle and how you want to play the game. But the best time to backstab is when you know that you can outburst the other player's health before their reflexes are able to kick in so that they can actually start attacking back at you. To prevent being backstabbed, pay attention to your enemy's attacks and movements. If they let you deal the majority damage to the enemy player, they're probably conserving their own shots so that they can take you out once they have the right opportunity. If they're trying to get really close up to you, they're probably trying to get close enough that they can quickly auto aim their attacks and take you out before you can react. However, just because somebody that is teaming with you is attacking you does not necessarily mean that they are trying to backstab you. If they're attacking you a little bit and spinning, they probably are just trying to charge up their super on you so that you guys can then go and obliterate somebody else. One other tip is to avoid people that you teamed with even if you fall to low HP, because at least in later on in trophies, hardly anyone is a true teamer. They're mostly just backstabbers waiting to take you out, so you gotta watch your back. Because remember, Solo Showdown is, in fact, a solo game mode. It's in their right to backstab you because the rule is do whatever it takes to be the last one standing. The last type of showdown player is my personal favorite strategy, and that is the anti-teamer. Anti-teamers are players who focus on firing off at players that are trying to team or on groups of players that are teaming. The strategy behind this is because you know that teamers will often find other teamers, if you do not take them out early on, there is no way you will win. This is why you should not just ignore somebody that is spinning. You should either join them, you should either backstab them, or you should fire off at them. Another reason why you might become an anti-teamer is because you don't like how teaming ruined the game for you, and so you're trying to force people to play with their own skill rather than by teaming. And Anti-teamers will focus their fire on someone else as soon as they see them spinning, or they may even spin back so that they can backstab them instantly, reminding them that Solo Showdown is in fact a solo game mode. The best anti-teamer brawlers are brawlers that can burst people down from a long distance without getting hit themselves, or a brawler that has a super that can allow them to get up really close, take one of them out, and then get away, or maybe even take the whole team out in one go. These brawlers include Colt, Bull, Brock, Dynamite, El Primo, Ricochet, Daryl, Piper, and Leon. Now, the best time to be an anti-teamer is, well, personally, I would say it's always the right time to be an anti-teamer. But the best time is when you are confident that you know you can at least take one of the enemies out without dying. If you're not confident that you can do that, try to stay away from them and wait until they actually engage with another player or another team so that you can attack from a different side and uh, hopefully take the team out. Anti-teaming is not as risky of a strategy as you might think. There is a chance that if you are an anti-teamer, you'll likely just get focused on by the team. But if this is only going to happen if you happen to miss your shots a lot or if you are playing against true teamers. If either team member is actually a backstabber, 
and usually one of them is, all you have to do is just get one of the enemy players to low enough health that their teammate will actually backstab them. And a lot of times you can actually use that to your advantage to take both of them out, grab all their power-ups, and go Arnold on everybody else. Which type of showdown player do you consider yourself to be the most? Personally, I tend to be a little bit more on the survivalist side with a little bit of the anti-teamer combo as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for future Brawl Stars guides, tips, let's plays, and some cringe, because I'll never change who I am. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.